What's up ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the one and only Serpentine Pavilion by Bjark Ingels. Okay, let's get to it. Start with a line at the center. Now let's get ourselves a curve. I'm going to make this one around here, around here, there, there and around there. You want to keep them in line with the with the central curve. And for this one, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, then six there, like that. Let's start off by assigning our curves. Copy and paste this twice. Bring in one. Bring in two. Bring in three. Okay. Now let's get ourselves also a move command here. Also copy and paste this one two times. Let's connect them all into here, like so. Let's give it some space. Let's make yet another move. Let's actually bring them in like this. Okay. Let's bring this one in here. Now let's get it, let's use the AZ, AZ value here. And um, we we want to change the, the height of our pavilion. So in this case, let's bring it down to about, about there. Okay, it looks nice. As for here, we can copy this value here and uh, add in a number setter of 1.0, which should be about, about enough. And then let's place it into these groups here, like so. Let's tidy this up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and now we can group these up nice and easy. Let's call these starting lines. Next up, let's set up our pattern projector. We can start off with a ruled surface and we want to place in this element here and this one from the very back, making this large panel. Now let's get ourselves an isotrim, place the surface into there, place a divide domain squared down here, connect it in the same, in the same manner. And uh, for for this case, you, sh you should use an an even um, number. So in this case, I'm going to place in 20, 29, and here I'm going to place in 19. The number slider is for 100 exactly. So about there. Okay. Uh, next up, we want to, to add in a cold number. Let's add it into to. Uh, there. Also going to place in an area to get the uh, the uh, centers and as you can see here they are displayed in a checker like pattern. Let's group it, this up. I'm going to call this one pattern projection. Now let's build up our loft normals. So we place in a loft, and the order should be something like this curve goes in first, this one goes in second, and then we place in this one there, and the same thing with this one here, like that, okay. We can push this one up to the front a bit. Let's get ourselves a flip surface, connect it there. Get ourselves a project project point. We want to get our geometry into there. We want to get our points from from our centroids down here. And for the that direction, I'm going to get my myself an x an x value here. Also, get in a negative value. Place it into there. Connect it there. And now for both to be visible, simply graph them. Next up, we want to get ourselves an evaluate, evaluate surface. Oh no, hold on. 
surface close uh, closest point part let's get our points into there and our surface flipped into, into there as, as well and now let's get ourselves a surface curvature bring in the UV the UV points and the surface into there like that and now we can group these up I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this one here loft normals now we can select the entire group, make a copy, paste, bring it down, down here. We're, we're only going to, to need this uh, X out of here, so the negative one can be removed. The same thing for the graph, bring it down here. And now as for the the order of these curves, same, same logic, so this one goes in first, this one goes in second, and uh, then we want to go we want to go with this one here first and then this one here like that getting getting ourselves the uh, proper surface on either side we can now hide all of these values we can actually just leave this these here just to make everything look visible mm -hmm. okay now to set up our vectors, we're going to place in a two-point vector, also a move, and a negative value. We're going to place them in like so. And now we want to place in our centroid as our point B. We want to place our points from our projections into the point A, and the colists into our, into our geometry, therefore placing our surfaces on the main surface, or loft. I'm gonna make this into a group, call this one Vector. Now let's get ourselves a remap numbers with a bounds Let's place it into the source, and now let's place the mean on the numbers and on the on the remap values. Let's flatten these down. And now we can have ourselves an extrusion, extrusion here, and we can place our geometry into there, and our map values into the that direction with a unit x. Okay, looking good. Of course now, we can graph these, actually we can group these, we can name the, this one here Extrusions, yet we still, need, we still need a target, so let's construct a new domain, construct domain, bring it into the, into the target, and uh, I'm gonna give a value of 10.0. And the same thing down here, 10.0, give or take. And I'm gonna bring this value to about, let's say, four and maybe eight to see how it reacts. Hmm, it's too strong. Okay, gonna bring this down to about, let's say, six and three. You might need to play to play a little bit around with these numbers, but I'm gonna place this at about two and one. Yeah, that should do it for now. And uh, now we can also group this up. This one's simply going to... Mm, yeah, just going to name it, this one Domain. And of course now we can copy all of these items. Let's paste them and bring them all the way down, down here. And then simply switch them. So Mean goes into here and into there and as for the uh, project points I'm gonna go into the point A all right looking good okay 
to finish it off gracefully, let's add in some Breck wireframes. And of course our trusted custom preview and a color swatch. Let's connect this one into here. And now we can add in one extrusion into there, the other one into here, and the same process for this one here. And of course, change this. Actually, let's change this to 50. Bring it over there. Okay, now we can hide everything that is on the back of this. Let's group this up to be our result. Okay, and that's how you essentially set up the uh, Serpentine Pavilion by uh, Big. Okay, okay, guys, hope you've liked this uh, tutorial. Uh, please do not forget to like and subscribe and from time to time drop in an, an idea for something you would like to see parametrically modeled. Okay, cheers.